everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another My Little Pony magazine showcase video. I actually always want to do one uh, of them per month and I'm filming this in May but when you will see the video it's probably already June so so don't take this too serious just I, I'm doing them whenever I feel like and today I really felt like doing them because I really really love doing those uh, My Little Pony Generation 1 vintage magazine showcase. I have three issues here and they're all from 1991 so the January, February and March issue and yeah let's just start. So as always as I'm from Germany so the magazines are also in German but of course I will explain everything in English, uh, just whatever you read there is gonna be uh, German, so that's why it says Mein Kleines Pony, das Kunterbunter Magazin, so the colorful magazine. And it already starts with, one, uh, with a really cute picture of the Dance and Friends ponies, so actually let's get them out. This is Player, then this is Songster, and this is actually one of the very first ponies I got in my adult collection. This is uh, Swinger. And here you can see all the fun accessories that actually came with these earrings. And, and actually, yeah, some of them, uh, some of mine have these strands of hair. So these hair clips, this is what you can see here. A little bit exaggerated if you can see that actually they're so thin. <laughs> but they are such a fun pony set when they dance around. And I think the story, yeah, the first comic story also starts uh, with the Dance and Prance ponies, at least with one, because this is actually DJ. So the blue one here. And this little uh, cutie here is Baby Tuppy. So they are going on an adventure here and helping these, they're called tree trolls, uh, with their New Year's uh, uh, celebration or something. Okay, in between here, we actually have um, one of the advertisements, uh, actually one that we had in most of the other magazines before, so I won't get all of the ponies out, but of course, here you can see the merry-go-round ponies, and here you can see the, um, the fancy pants babies and the playtime baby brother ponies, which in Germany was a combined set, and they were called the adventure baby ponies. And the story here of uh, DJ and Baby Tappy Ooh. <laughs> continues. Interesting match that they did, these two together, but they look so cute. And here is the end of the story and they're having a dance. <laughs> Which makes totally sense because this is the radio here of, um, of DJ and Tappy Little Tappy with her shoes here. <laughs> okay, <laughs> funny. Yeah, then we have, as always, it's, it's the same publisher as these uh, Wendy magazines that I also have unboxed a couple of them in uh, one of my um, older videos. This was a like magazine for, you know, horse lovers. What have we here? This is not a comic. This is one of those uh, short stories with just some pictures. And we actually can see Bowtie here, again one of the early ponies, although uh, we're already in 1991 uh, with this magazine, but still some of the stories uh, were brought over from the um, early magazines, because um, in Germany they were not released in order um, concerning the comics and the stories um, as they were in the UK, because these were produced for the UK. Another ad for another magazine, for Disney, kinda, and Animal Magazine. And here we have, oh, here's Twinkle Eye Pony uh, Masquerade with a very funny outfit. <laughs> okay, and I think this is, uh, this is Sundance, also wearing a very funny outfit, but this is an existing pony out outfit. This was released with these, like, you know, 80s, workout um, leg warmers and um, the headband and this rainbow like I don't know what is it 
rainbow dress. <laughs> oh, and here comes here comes actually Megan. Megan comes with um, with Firefly. Megan here is really she she doesn't look like in the um, like TV show in My Little Pony and Friends. Uh, she looks definitely like the doll, like completely. This is one of uh, the doll's outfits, and Megan was like always together released with obviously with Sundance or as they were both called in um, German they were called Annabelle und Sause Schnell. They're helping this princess and there's snow everywhere of course we're in January here so of course they at least chose uh, some correct um, season, season appropriate stories. Oh, and here we have our first Who Lives in Ponyland pages. And this one, like these always show a set or part of a pony set that was either like new released or they also like kept up with uh, the older ones. So uh, these are two of the Baby Pony and Pretty Pals sets, uh, which always had a baby pony and then a non-pony friend. And here we've got baby uh, pockets and baby Hoppy, as you can read, baby Poppy and Hoppy <laughs> in German. Uh, I have these two. Uh, these sets were like uh, that always included non pony. My little ponies are always one of my favorites. Like, I'm so proud to have these two. Uh, as a child, I had one of these sets, not one of these two. I had uh, Fleecy and Wooly. And this is actually baby stripes and baby nectar, or as they were called in German, baby Honig. And Baby Zeus, so like Baby Honey and Baby Sweet, that would be their German names. And they always uh, put together a nice scenery here with a playground because these ponies came with lots of accessories, uh, like with these stack toys, etc. Oh yeah, and here we have got like a real winter story. These are actually, this is Baby Shady and this is Baby Licked Split. Uh, I think these are meant to be the Betty by Eye versions because I only have um, Baby Licked Split here. You can see with three of those. I don't know. He, she just have, has one. Maybe this is then the Betty by Eye version because Baby Shady, I think, never was released in a non Betty by Eye uh, version. And I mean, oops, mine is even the first two. So Licked Split had, Baby Licked Split had three different releases. Um, yeah, these ponies here. <laughs> yeah, baby Shady, that, that she's got sunglasses as her symbol, so she's wearing sunglasses. And that even makes sense in the snow, so. Okay, it seems they're making ice cream out of the snow. Why not? Ponies are able, because if, when you've got baby Licky Split and she can she, she does magic because all of the ponies do magic uh, in these magazines. It's not only that the unicorns do magic. And she's got ice cream cones, so obviously why not having delicious ice cream in the winter. Here is uh, another like information page about the uh, Pony Mummy Club, which you could join. It's a club um, that gave you like access to like you got certain um, certain gifts or you got more info about new ponies you got posts or you could be elected as the pony princess so this was apparently the pony princess of 1991 here yeah this is one of the pages where you the, like the giveaway page where you could do like a, a riddle or something and then you could win something and here they um, like they gave away the uh, perm shop and some of the um, baby sea ponies again. Aha! Oh, this is actually, I think, I don't know if I've ever showed this pony in one of my magazines. This is actually Sunbeam, uh, one of the very early unicorns, a very lovely pony. Um, you can see the symbol here is really small and is almost gone. Um, it's actually like like a huge, like not huge, but like a sun, like a uh, sign. And mine is the Italy version, that's why it's not um, glittery anyways. And uh, 
she's actually here together with Majesty so no pony magazine without Majesty because she is like the princess in the um, in the dream castle and she is always in those magazines she's kind of the main character you could say okay and they meet uh, some others like in the waterfall they meet sprinkles and duck soup they were released as um, the waterfall um, playset ponies and oh they meet sparkler pony that I still do not have yet They break the light with this um, with this gem apparently from Sparkler. Uh, what kind of page is this? It's just like a question mark. What's new in Ponyland? And I think the the, the comic is like over here, which it doesn't seem like. But I think that's what I thought they wanted, wanted to make like a rainbow or something seems it's just that she has to like store away her like diamond here her her gem in this trunk that no one finds it and sadly like unfortunately on all of the magazines I want to show you today the last pages are missing so here it's uh, actually um, like the last pages are always the pony mummy club where uh, children send in their letters and their, um, their drawings and always a two-pager and then on the very last page it gives like info on the next magazine so here we only have you can see some drawings and you can see Posey and we have to move on to the next magazine already which is the February issue and I really love the cover because it shows some ponies that we did not have much uh, in here uh, here is this is sugar sweet Sugar Sweet is a um, candy cane pony, so all of those beautiful curled ponies. And here we've got Cherry Treats, also a scented pony, but from the uh, Sweetberry ponies. And here we've got actually Baby Lucky. Baby Lucky is a was a, a mail away, so a mail order pony, and he's one of the Sweetheart Sisters. I think that's supposed to be um, spring song. Um, just move on to what they are doing in the comic actually. So yeah, the comic is indeed, it's about uh, Sugar Sweet and she's meeting this guy. It's, uh, this guy is called Pip. He sometimes uh, reappears in the magazines. He's like the postman of Ponyland. Um, And they, ah, they, yeah, they are invited for a picnic. Like that's <laughs> that's one of the typical tropes of pony uh, stories: picnic. <laughs> and they meet uh, this other guy together with Baby Lucky. Ooh, what have we here in between? Let's at first finish the story because they meet a spring song. And okay, this is like the picnic place with all the flowers. And they even meet Dainty, another one of the sweetheart sister ponies here. And they even meet Flower Burst. I think that's supposed to be Flower Burst from like what you can see at the symbol. Um, sometimes they don't get the colors correct in those magazines, you know, it's actually not a purple pony but a blue pony. So. And, ah, okay, there's Cherry Treats. I was already like <laughs> like questioning why she was at the cover, but she also appears at the picnic place and they all have fun together and you know, that's what ponies do in Ponyland. Okay, let's, let's see what this is. I think this refers to like in the last magazine we had this huge question mark. I think you could see some of the ponies in there. It seems like these were uh, like, like an ad, obviously new, it says here. Um, that these were then, from, from, from that point on, new ponies sold, which is not completely correct because 
they show one of the merry-go-round ponies again which we had in all of the other magazines so they are definitely not sold in this year so they are already like I released prior um, and we also see that most of these ponies when I look at them are actually year year eight ponies which would mean they were actually released in 89 till 90 and here we are actually in uh, the magazines from 1991 so that proves it again that some of these ponies in Germany or in Europe or in general were released a little bit later so these absolutely like when we we put them in years year eight etc some ponies were not released all over the place during that time just a little bit later here we have two of the school time ponies we can see some of the um, uh, tropical ponies already some of the uh, rainbow curl ponies uh, the glittery sweetheart sisters pony bride right in the middle and some babies oh that's interesting here we've got um, this is baby uh, school bag I have baby school bag but as you can see it's in a different pose so this was the first tooth pose and like more in line with um, with this pose here and Sometimes they changed it up, so she actually then was released in the baby blossom pose. So these apparently were new back then, so let's see if we're gonna see these uh, in the magazines next. Oh, the, the story wasn't even finished, so uh, sweet, uh, sugar sweet and a flower, no that's a flower burst, that's um, spring, spring, spring song and all of the others. Oh, that looks like it's 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 a like they're doing magic in the air with those like puffy. Um, I don't know what that actually is, but it seems that transforms into flowers or flower petals. And it's like Pip says, "Oh, it will be raining today," uh, which is not good for a picnic. And they had a picnic, and then it rained, but it rained flower petals. <laughs> Here you, you can you we <laughs> you can see another nice. Um, pony advertisement for some of the new ponies yeah here we can see all of our lovely um, rainbow curl ponies so let's get them out I have all of them although I definitely have to say I have to recurl her curls they're not the best anymore but like this is one of my favorite pony sets I can't deny it I'm pretty sure I had at least one of them as a child. Uh, not exactly sure, but it could have been uh, stripes here. And as you can see, I mean, the picture is a little bit dark from the print, but uh, I think it's really funny what they all did that uh, you can see their faces because these ponies, when like their curls are hanging in front of their faces, you can never really see them. So it's it's nice what, what they did, how they arranged it. And this pony, they, they even like, they made a ponytail here. Like, I could do that like this. <laughs> and what you can also see is that they changed up the colors a little bit, like this pony stripes here. It looks like she also had a light um, forelock, like a light pink one, but they definitely changed it up to a dark forelock so that not all ponies start with a pink forelock. Actually, a ringlet here. Um, Although she is a rehair, but she starts like with white and the pink is just the third stripe. And here it was the light pink was the first stripe. Um, but this is actually accurate. This is supposed to be pink. And yeah, with her as well, this is also supposed to be pink, the first stripe. But they changed it up. So advertisement pictures are never like never fully what they were released as. This pony set here um, at the um, top is actually called in German the Vergiss mein nicht ponies or in like, English uh, just flower ponies. They are a um, Euro exclusive set. So they tend to get a little bit more expensive which is like really you see them a lot uh, for sale but yeah I only have one. I only have um, Snowdrop. I only have Snowdrop. You can also see that they changed up the hair color a little bit. It was more meant to be like a golden yellow and they gave her this cool ginger actually. Yeah, 
I don't know if I like I'm not super crazy about them so I'm not really on the hunt for them and this they are pretty expensive so it's like whenever I can get them I'm fine uh, yeah the flower ponies they all have flower symbols obviously the rainbow curl ponies in German were called Regenbogenlöckchen ponies uh, another story actually this is Crunchberry uh, one of the um, um, Sunday best ponies. I, I do not have this one. That's uh, one with the sculpted on symbols, which um, they are also scented pony set. Okay, this is a straight story. I, I do not even see a pony. Okay, here's a pony. Uh, this is baby um, bouncy, and it's something about this robot. I don't know what what he is. A tin man made out of cleaning devices. I don't know. Oh, this was. Here's a big brother pony in there, which is interesting because this is not one that was released in Germany. Because this is four speed, like the, the trucker, you know. Um, and he has a German name. He's called a uh, Bromi in, in German, but um, he was never released in Germany so he just has a German name because of these comics because they were made for the UK and apparently he was released in the UK so that's why he's in the magazine and got a German name Omi well I cannot show you him I do not have him he uh, is pretty hard to get over here oh okay so this ends with, with a party that's like typical ponies always have a party <laughs> and here we can see actually some of the um, twice as fancy ponies again so here we got um, sweet berry uh, sugar berry sorry not sweet berry sugar berry um, up up and away actually that's correct she would have a like, dark not, not dark she would have liked pink hair but this is one of the ponies which I'm like I actually don't want to repink the hair because she looks so good with white hair. Sometimes I'm feeling like uh, keeping the ponies with white hair. And this actually it says a pony quartet so it's like a card game where you have to find like four matching cards a very typical children's card game and in this magazine uh, the first part was included here you can see some of the cards uh, I don't have any of those um, extras or like um, special gifts that were in these magazines but it's so lovely to see the children there with those early 90 fashion and all having their ponies there oh there's a the lullaby nursery in the background this is interesting I think it's supposed to be dancing butterflies but dancing butterflies is a twice as fancy pony so why did they just put like their um, butterflies as a normal symbol there's not even a variant like this. So, but, you know, here she is. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be dancing butterflies. Okay, we have um, another uh, children's magazine about dogs and all sorts of animals. And here's a story all about baby ponies. There's so many baby ponies in this story. Uh, let's start. Oh. Um, we also have Spike here, I think. Here he is. And this is Baby Hotthrop. Which I have just the um, Betty Bye version. Then Baby Lucky again, he's joining. Baby Lickety Split, which I can only show you the first two Baby Lickety Split, but as you can see it just says one symbol so it's either the Betty Bye or the non Betty Bye version. We've got baby Applejack, baby Shady again, this is baby Glory, here she is. So the baby ponies are having fun and they are actually celebrating. I, I first I thought it's like a birthday or something but it's the Hopla Hop, was is denn das Tag? <laughs> celebrating the Hopla Hop, what's, what's that day? Sometimes these, these children's stories are so like, what? But yeah, that's, that's what they celebrate. So they just need something to celebrate because ponies are celebrating and having a picnic and doing magic. 
oh this this yellow pony is actually baby um lofty baby lofty also was just released in the betty bahai version i do not have her yet <laughs> i think i have her on the way but she isn't actually this yellow i would love like to have such a yellow baby pony would oh, that would be cute but she is more like very light yellow almost white Uh, here are two of the uh, Euro released playset ponies. Oh, not playset. It's not a playset, they just had lots of accessories. Uh, Rosetta or Rosette and uh, Sweet Clover. I tried to bid on Sweet Clover last night. Mm, got too expensive. Didn't win her. Anyways, um, you could win them here. You could win them in this magazine if it was still 1991 which is not. Here are two of the Sweetheart Sister Ponies again. So we've got uh, Dainty and Spring Song again. Oh, don't you just love them? <laughs> and you had to find out which of these teapots are double. So can I just find out and then win these ponies, please? I would really like to have a Sweet Clover. Sweet Clover also has two different color variants. Anyways, oh, here's again one of these mystery um, pages. What is the smallest pony mystery? Okay, well, I can see some petite ponies here. Maybe that's a hint for the next magazine. Oh, here is like a another just uh, just children's riddle with finding the the way to the stable for baby Lucky. And ah, here's a complete story with Baby Lucky. And who's the other pony? Probably Majesty. And they are meeting this. She is a fairy, so all of those sea creatures and the ponies are in castles and all that, and this with princesses. So I really like that. But there is a lot of non-pony uh, characters in the magazines other than in the... Um, I mean, not non-pony, I want to more say like human characters are a lot in these magazines. Which is not the case if you just watch the old um, cartoon. There is actually... there's just ponies and other creatures. And then there's Megan and um, uh, two other children at one point. I think Molly and a boy. But here we also have like always oh, princesses and... Giants and all that stuff. Okay, you've got a Wendy magazine, and the last pages are missing again. So the Pony Mommy Club uh, just has one page here. I actually do not know what pony this is. This looks like a um, like a newborn baby, an orange newborn baby with pink hair. <laughs> Who is this supposed to be? I don't know. And oh my goodness, here you can see ponies drawn with pony wear. Doesn't that just look hilarious? I, to be honest, do not really like putting ponies in clothes, textile <laughs> garments. I just, it's, it always looks, I mean, ponies are already a little bit, you know, they are a little bit, they're not like fragile or something. They are like, you know, a little bit, they have substance. And when you put these clothes on, then they look just I don't know, fat and I don't know, I just don't like it. They look clumsy. That's what I want to say. They, they always look super clumsy when you put ponies in pony wear. I don't like that. <laughs> so here we have the March issue of 91 and well, yeah, the condition of the magazine is really not the best, uh, which is really a shame because like this is one of the most beautiful covers, which I think it's like in this like flower petal, flower blossom shape. We see all of the um, Russian grow ponies and all of these beautiful like flowers all around. And let's get them out. So here is Braided Beauty. The purple one is Ringlets. This one. Then here I do not have um, Pretty Vision, but I have Bouquet, which is the white unicorn. Here. Okay. Then the blue one is Twisty Tail. And 
the one in the middle is curly locks, the pink one. So it's so lovely to see all of them together here in one picture and what do you think? I always think their color combinations actually are pretty odd but they have so many different colors going on uh, that it's actually already pretty beautiful again. So never was a set that I was like super interested but now that I'm just one away from completing it I really really want to have pretty vision. But anyways let's get into the magazine because uh, the first comic in here is about the Brush and Grow Ponies and this is uh, called the uh, Spring Prom with the Flower Queen. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's called. And as we now <laughs> already know, our little ponies, they are doing a picnic. <laughs> and um, all of the Brush and Grows together and Twisty actually um, mentions that, hey, I wish it would rain and like um, Curly Locks is like, why do you want rain? I really want to have sunshine. Sunshine is way better. But then it, it turns out that actually um, they need rain over the rainbow <laughs> to fill up um, their bottle of rainbow sh hair shampoo to dye their hair. So <laughs> apparently uh, these ponies, they say without this, our uh, hair will look so boring. So it seems the brush, the brush and grow ponies, they dye their hair to have those rainbow colors. I mean, what kind of a crazy idea, at least in this comic, it's like this. And yeah, they are also invited for this flower, and a flower for this like spring prom thingy. And they want to look beautiful for this, so they need rain. But it's not gonna rain that day. <laughs> and uh, then they meet actually, um, uh, chief, which is like, you know, the firefighter in his car, which I never know how the pony fits in this car, but anyways. <laughs> and uh, I think they they get the idea that he can help them because, you know, he's got water in his car and in his like tube. So they go to the rainbow and then uh, chief here on German Funky, he is then spray water over the rainbow and they can fill up here's the bottle of rainbow hair shampoo and they can fill up their bottle and then they're happy because they can have this beautiful like hair color combination <laughs> go to the ball i don't know uh, i would not have guessed that they dye their hair oh, but apparently but when you see them here all together or what we had here this is like really, really lovely. Because the ponies actually have kind of crazy colors, but it works. <laughs> it really works. So here we had just a children's like, you know, coloring page with text. Ah, and here is another, the next uh, Who Lives in Ponyland. And uh, we have the glittery sweetheart sister ponies. So here is, uh, this is Twinkler. Then this is Bright Night. This is uh, Star Flash. Uh -huh. she is. And it's a sun blossom here. One of my favorite pony sets and I still am um, like under I'm under the um, impression that these names are actually wrong. Also in German you see Mondschimmer, so this pony does not look as it has something to do with the moon, but anyways, wouldn't that be a better fit for this pony? This is actually like, you know, Sonnenblüte, so the sun that would better match with this pony. Uh, same in English. But uh, this pony is called in German Herzstern and this one uh, Nachtglanz. She is not in that good condition. I don't know if I want to rehair her at one point or maybe I get another one of her. But yeah, I really love 
uh, what they what they have done. This whole uh, picture is so like sparkly, and they painted the stones or whatever that is, yeah, gold. Or oh, are these potatoes? I don't know. <laughs> so beautiful, and the ponies always have their little story why they are caught like this, which still I, I read through it. It does not really make sense. Aha! Here's the first mention of like the piccolo ponies, which are the petite ponies. Piccolo ponies, that's just the name in German. And in the last magazine we had a hint for those small, smallest pony mystery. And here you can see some of the petite pony play sets. And here are some of the petite ponies. They are really small. <laughs> so they would fit in those very, very small play sets here, which you know, I think uh, Hasbro definitely was inspired by Polly Pocket, which was a very, very um, like successful toy during that time, and they they wanted to do some miniatures. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, Petite Ponies. I just have some. So, and actually, the next story already starts with here. You can see that some of the um, Piccolo Pony playsets or Petite Pony playsets are in that story. It's about this giant. Um, and the crazy thing is that these small petite ponies are also living with the normal sized ponies because this is just a normal sized um, um, baby yo-yo that we have here. This is her. I really need to repink her hair. Uh, anyways, and the newborn babies, um, baby yo-yo and baby um, wiggles. Here she is. They, <laughs> they um, like notice that uh, the piccolo ponies or the petite ponies are in danger because of this giant and actually the giant he just wants some buttons for his shirt uh, because he thought like oh those this castle and those beautiful little houses they probably I can use some parts as buttons um, as it seems uh, baby yo-yo here has like a, a magical moonstone uh, they can do some magic and then Yo-Yo transforms his or her <laughs> Yo-Yos that are actually her symbols into buttons for the giant and everyone's happy. So, <laughs> and this is the Petite Pony or Piccolo Pony a castle here. These are, those are real play sets, so nice advertisement. Uh, what do we have here? This is just a story. This is a story that a pony um, tells another pony about, about some farmers. Uh, Oh, this this here right in the in the uh, in the corner is actually molasses. Uh, let's get molasses out. She she did not have any spotlight episodes yet, right? Uh, she's one of the candy cane ponies. She's got um, the gingerbread man, which makes sense because she 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 baked gingerbread here. She was one. She actually she was my first um, of the candy cane ponies. There she is. And yeah, uh, th that was the next part of the pony um, like card game, the quartet. And the girls are playing again. Oh, here we can see two advertisements. Here are the um, Glittery Sweetheart Sister ponies again. I just had them out, you know what they look. Uh, and this is interesting because these are the uh, Starlight Baby Ponies, which is a Euro exclusive set, you could say, because uh, the American version of the set looked completely different uh, for baby ponies um, that all have a little bit more of a shiny body, as you can see here. There are some of them, and actually, the American counterpart has like a sparkly body. I like this a little bit see-through. So you can see this is the Euro version, this is the American version. Here's another one of the American uh, baby sparkle ponies, or oh, sparkle baby ponies. Um, this is really lovely because like uh, baby uh, night song here was my childhood pony and this is how I envisioned them living in the clouds, you know. I think it was also at the back card. Uh, in German Sternschimmer baby ponies and the glittery sweetheart sisters were called in German Glitzerlichte ponies. Oh, 
Oh, sweet tooth. One of the twice as fancies here with this lovely, it's, it's, it's just for children to find the way to the um, lollipop tree because that's a lollipop because sweet tooth has lollipops. So lovely. Yeah, what else? Ah, okay. Uh, we had one of uh, this like story in one of the last magazines already with uh, Milky Way and with my baby North Star. So it seems they are really good friends and they do a lot of things together. And in this, um, they are actually uh, trying to find flowers in this super special uh, flower garden, obviously magical flowers. Um, and the man in the moon helps them again. So they are really magical, often flying to the moon and stuff uh, because they want to do like a firework for these little, ooh, what's that? For these little uh, newborn babies and the the flowers help them. What is that? Who knows? <laughs> so here is the firework made out of the flowers. They're killing it with these cool advertisements. Here are two more pony sets. These are the um, drink wet baby ponies. I only have one. I only have baby uh, Snookums here, uh, which is this one. You can see they look a little bit different color wise. I mean, the hair was still pink, but the body was lighter and also the cutie mark had a different color a little bit. So this is more neon -y. Uh, Very cute ponies, really, really cute poses. Uh, they could have a bottle and then could <laughs> pee. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't gotten into the set yet more than I have just one pony. And one of my favorites, the tropical ponies. And look how like magnificent their hairstyling is. Like, whoa. Pina colada here or tutti tails. I definitely need to do that to my tutti tails. Like my, like this is still a little bit of factory curl that I have in here, but I like could do something way better. My goodness, look at that hairstyle. And this, here's Pina Colada. And here are the other two. Oops. They really crash it with their colors. I do not know another pony set that has, okay, well, I know one other pony set that has these crazy colors, uh, the bead ponies, but like, come on. That theming is amazing. And this beautiful tropical landscape. I definitely, when I, when I was a child, which pony would I would like have, uh, to have the most? Probably her because she looks so cute on this picture. Okay, here you have to find out which heads belong to which pony, which should be pretty easy. Funky, uh, that is actually, that's uh, Chief, that's Chief, so this hat. Then Indy, which is Wigwam, this is his hat. Piri, which is um, Barnacle, pirate hat. And these are the damsel heads of the princess ponies, which also are called princess ponies in German. Oh, and you could win the uh, Dancing Prince ponies here. So what else do we have here? Oh, okay, here we just have like a very like simple story with some of the early ponies like Peachy, Bubbles, this is Seashell, Trickles. Oh, he's Baby Firefly. There she is. Or Baby Blossom. Like here she is. This baby moon dancer? I think so. Sometimes I mix maybe glory and moon dancer, but that's baby moon dancer. And majesty. And here you can see dream castle. <laughs> it seems they, they did uh, some kind of uh, mud. Um, mud throwing adventure here. Just a simple 
awesome pony story. So here we've got the Wendy magazine ad and as well as I said in all of these magazines we're missing the real last pages. So it just ends with the Pony Mummy Club here. Um, Oh, this, this, this child drew really, this is, um, this is sugar berry and this is sprinkles. Oh no, this pony is in danger. It's drowning. Um, I don't know what pony that is meant to be. Maybe... And I have no clue what that pony is supposed to be. Because a yellow pony, red hair and wings? I don't know, maybe they just colored in the hair wrong. Because I could see that this is maybe Sky Dancer and would need some rainbow hair. Yeah. So these were the three issues that I wanted to show you today. I hope you uh, had fun and like to. It's for me. It's just like just wholesome, like fun content to do, showing the pictures in the magazines and showing the ponies. And we had some really good sets uh, in this video, I think. So uh, I know that these. Um, videos here, these magazine show-offs, they, they really tend to not get a lot of um, views, but I will still do them until I have no magazines left, because that's uh, so fun for me. And yeah, the next um, time we will do them, we will start with, um, I think there's a little bit of a skip again, but it's still 1991. I think then we start with June. And, um, and from, from then on, I have every single issue until there were no pony magazines anymore. So we still have a lot uh, to cover. So thank you for watching. Don't forget if you like what I'm doing here to subscribe if you aren't. I always forget to say that because I, I know that um, sometimes people just think they're subscribed. That happens to me as well. Well, because um, all the videos appearing on their feed, but um, if you aren't, maybe just click the subscribe button, uh, like the video, comment um, down below and yeah see you real soon and may the force be with you bye